Well, that wraps up this hour of Fox and Friends First. Fox and Friends First continues right now. I'll see you back 9 to noon. See ya. Good morning. It is Thursday, December 27th, a historic day on Wall Street. Stocks surging after a Christmas Eve crash. Thank you, Todd. So, 2018 was filled with memorable moments, both good and bad. What were the best and worst moments in politics? So many to choose from. So many to choose from. <laughs> it was hard to go through them all this you year. You probably spent a million hours trying to go through them. Okay, let's get to the first one here and the best America first moment. Take a look at this. Well, independence gave it a B minus there. Absolutely. Let's go ahead to uh, number three and Hillary Clinton's best moment. So sometimes those zingers pay off for him. All right, Lee Carter, thank you very much for taking the time to find the best ones for us. President Trump and First Lady Melania landing at Joint Base Andrews just moments ago after their surprise visit to troops overseas. What's your name? Did you just steal something? Give it. I'm going to call the police. I've got you on camera. Give me the thing. You've seen these videos played out time and time again of thieves at your doorstep. You decided to go the next step. Walk us through what happened, your realization, something's being stolen, and then when did you make the decision, I'm gonna do something about it? I contacted the police when it was over and I got home and I actually could g caught my breath. A little unusual that it's this overt. Uh, there's always a question of how it rise a little bit for people to finally be able to get a return on their savings accounts mm -hmm. uh, during that. Uh where, is, where are the biggest problems in terms of either trade or uh, have to see, but that I think would be the top issue longer term wall today though. Is she right, Lisa Booth? <laughs> I think no, I was no. pretty right. <laughs> well, but to your point then, okay, so if President Trump owns the highs, he owns the lows. Well, if we see highs heading into Election Day, we'll see if you give him any credit for that. But let's all, just yesterday, historic gains. Then we're seeing drops. There's been a lot of volatility, so we really don't know what things are going to look like before Election Day. And so I just think right now it's way too early ahead of 2020. But sure, if the markets suck heading into Election Day and there's other things going on as well. Historic highs, the Asian markets when they opened up uh, yesterday morning, this morning for us, were, were a, an impressive sign. But it's also an interesting sign that when Washington is not doing what it's supposed to be doing or there isn't any major news mm -hmm. coming out of Washington, the stock market and, and the and, and Wall Street seems to respond in a positive way. Well, maybe points. The Dow is just all over the place, and I just want you to talk to us and maybe calm some of those nerves at home yeah. that are seeing this volatility. Because I have a feeling this volatility is going to be going on for quite some time. Well, as I mentioned, introduce you to Purdue superfan Tyler Trent. He's getting some first-class treatment ahead of the team's bowl game. This is an incredible story, Susan. Two and a half months ago. Uh, doctors gave Tyler Trent. Their quarterback, Baker Mayfield, can lead them to a victory over the Ravens. He will never have to pay for a drink I've in Pittsburgh. I've seen that a lot on Twitter. People cheering for a team <laughs> they may not like, but it's so their team can move can forward. Can make the playoffs, yeah. All right, Coy, thanks. You're welcome. We're talking Miley Cyrus. She is making it Instagram official. Purdue superfan Tyler Trent is getting some first-class treatment ahead of the team's bowl game because of an owner of a pro football yeah. team is yeah, doing this, is, this for uh, him. What a guy. Yeah, and uh, my goodness, so, so good that someone can do something good for this young man. Hello, everyone. I'm Kate Baldwin. From his first trip to a combat zone to his gazillionth trip to his comfort zone, President Trump is back at the White House right now and back on Twitter after his secret unannounced visit to U.S. troops in Iraq.